Thanks for staying with us at 430. I'm Jane Monreal. Right now, South Carolina lawmakers are working on a bill that would limit conversations around race and sexuality in schools. The measure proposes restrictions on how teachers can talk about parts of history, but not everyone's on board. The Transparency and Integrity in Education Act would ban schools from teaching concepts that could make any individual feel as responsible for historical events like slavery and the Holocaust. Senator Greg Hembry says it will give parents more autonomy over their child's education. The concern of parents, some parents, uh, is that the schools are teaching values that may be inconsistent with the parents' values and the values that the children are receiving at home. The bill also requires districts to create a form so that parents can file a complaint if they feel their child's teacher violated the policy. Hembry says districts will be responsible for following up on those complaints. Uh, districts have different resources, different sizes, different issues. So uh, it's not a, it's very common for us, uh, particularly dealing with, with school districts, to um, use that method. Opponents of the bill liken it to censorship in the classroom and say it's an answer to a problem that doesn't exist. Paul Bowers is with the ACLU of South Carolina. It's an attempt to censor teachers in the classroom to limit the honest discussions that can take place about history and race and other topics. And uh, uh, however well-intentioned the authors of this bill are, we know that it is a weapon that they are preparing to hand to people who aim to dismantle public education. Republicans are still working out details on whether a parent could take claims to court. The bill still has to go through a conference committee, and that could happen as soon as the 18th.